Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. Uh, welcome to the space where we have conversations around motherhood, around marriage, and we have fun while we are at it. And uh, if you're new here, my name is Space. Welcome to this space. I hope you stick around. Uh, and in today's video, I am with the one and only Mutims. I'm a Mutims. <laughs> I'm a Mutims, right? <laughs> so you're the one. I'm also a Mutims. Yes, I'm Mutims. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm a Mutima, Mutima in chief. There you go. <laughs> Sherry Uwase. Yes. Welcome. Thank you so Karibu much. Sana. Thank you so much for me having too. me. It's so it's such a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I've thank been you so much. So many of your episodes. Yeah. And I'm really honored to be on this space today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So we're just gonna have conversations around motherhood with uh, with Sherry. But uh, before we start, could you say hi to the Muisa gang? Huh? <laughs> Muisa gang. I'm still thinking about that, but yeah. Mm. Uh huh. So say hi. Tell us about yourself. So hi, Mr. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, my name is Sherry Uwase. I um, that, that's quite a that question is very. It's a, a whole it's large a, bio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it's, you'd it's like really, us to know? Okay, so I am a, I am a mom. Since this space is uh, yeah. has a topic as a core. Yeah. So I am a mother. I am a singer. So I, I, I actually am an artist because I'm not only a singer, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a composer as well, um, I'm a writer as well, I'm a content creator, so it's just a natural <laughs> <laughs> of so many things. Okay. Um, yeah, and then um, also professionally, I work in a communications and marketing uh, profession. So that's my um, daily job, that's my nine to five, and then the others, uh, the things that I do, uh, either as a hobby or just as a side hustle or as both <laughs> yes yeah. wow wow yeah. wow that is so impressive okay now how would you do all that and then be the authentic mother that you are like you inspire all of us Thank like you. i follow you so much i'm yeah. obsessed I'm a... <laughs> yeah so uh i see how you handle your motherhood journey okay well you will tell us a little bit about your motherhood journey yeah. in a bit but how do you handle all that and then being a mom, like it's so draining sometimes as personally. Yeah. So how do you do that? Um, yeah, you're right. It's it's really draining <laughs> sometimes. Mm. I just have to set time aside to rest and and take a breather. Yeah, but for the be most intentional part, time. Yeah, because, you have to be intentional, mm. and then um, you have to really also prioritize different things at different times. Okay. Because um, things are for me, they are prioritized differently. Okay. So when somebody asks me, like, do I have a Balance, a balance work like yeah. but I don't think there's anything like that, at least for me, it doesn't exist. Yes. Because um, I cannot balance it. I'm not I agree. Uh, yeah, mm. I'm not a robot <laughs> that I can put things on a yeah. way scale. I'm like, yeah, it's fifty, here yeah, is a forty five, we need to add a five. Mm. No, but I just uh, prioritize different things okay. at different times. Mm -hmm. So something like um like I mentioned I do have a I do have a full time job. Okay. So Monday to Friday working hours, that's all I'm doing. Okay. If I need to do anything after that, uh, I do it after working hours. Okay. Um, sometimes with the content, I have this content, but most of the time I really don't post the content in real time. Okay. I just have it and store it and then post it later on in the day. Okay. Or if it's something simple to share, then that one I can easily share it. Mm. Um, and then uh, the other things, I do them when I have the time. Okay. Um, things like music, I do it over the weekends or on my leave. Okay, um, okay. Normally, um, when I take leave off work, mm. I'm going to specifically do, do some music, music projects. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I do it. And then for for motherhood, I guess you you know the drill. It's like a twenty four hour yeah. <laughs> job with no breaks in yeah. between. Um, Even good. when you're doing all the, those other things, or is constantly checking in, yeah. making sure you've they've eaten and everything. Like yeah. Yeah. Also, the help I think helps. Yes. Also, mm. the, the help the really helps, and mm. then um, the fact that my son is in school, so okay. that really gives me a lot of time to oh, yes. to do other things. He goes to school in the morning and comes in the evening. Okay. So um, even me, I use the time as some me time to do errands, to do work, and okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that is so impressive. I mean, well, uh, one, I also have um, a nine, a nine to five. There is even a nine to five. It's actually an eight to five. Mm. Also, with a with a business that I recently opened with outfits. So and creating this space and making sure I do that, I do this, and being a mother, it's really hard. It's really hard. So if I see someone doing it, I'm like, even when I started, I was like, I need to drop one thing. 
Yeah. Uh, eventually, I will. Okay, of course, I'm passionate about this space and my business. But eventually, I feel like it's it's something I'm thinking about. But if I see someone doing A, B, C, D, all this and being a mother as well, I'm like, you're a superwoman. You're a superwoman. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's impressive. Yeah, I also really think it uh, it it drives back to the kind of person that you are, the character okay. that you have, mm. um, and the reason um, you're able to do this. I mean, in this day and age in this economy it's really Girl. not safe <laughs> to rely on one source of yes. income yes you know, to rely not even a source of income just to rely on one opportunity okay mm. you know um that can backfire um that can end at some point mm. sometimes contracts are not renewed yes sometimes, you never know uh, yeah you can open a business and it can flourish and you can slowly work your way into okay. spending all your time there so uh, I'm really a big fan of like not, I really try as much as I can not to put all my eggs in one basket. Yes, yes. And just see how I can look for opportunities. Okay. Um, and look for other things to do. So for me, that's that's really why I do it. Okay. Yeah. So what's your take on um, mom guilt? Like I've ever had like mom guilt for being, uh, I, yeah. I believe now that it's in school, it's easier for you. But but how about before like you had to be you had you need your full attention uh, for a longer period of time mm. how did you deal with ma- with mom guilt because yo <laughs> yeah i think that's like an ongoing thing okay. i don't think it ever stopped obviously um it has its moments mm. but it's definitely still there even sometimes it just pops up um you can do something not the way that you wanted to do it mm. or not the way that you envisioned you're going to do it yeah yeah and something as small as being late to pick him up from school <laughs> you know that oh. gives mom yeah guilt. but um yeah that happens a lot actually for me it really happens a lot and mm. for me luckily for me i have um i have a faith-based uh belief you know okay. christianity and so that is something that really guides me with that and then i go back I'm like, oh God, is there something that I'm not doing right? right is there, is yeah. there something? Am I a bad mom? Okay. <laughs> you know, am I a horrible mom? Uh, I know I those those wrong? thoughts haunt us a yeah, lot. Yeah, they do. Mm. They do. So, and I don't think it ever ends. Um, maybe some people are just not um, comfortable enough to share okay. about that mm. part of their lives, but yeah. I don't think it ever ends. Okay. But again, at the same time, we really can't do everything like. To perfection yes we, we cannot we're only human yeah we're only human we mm. cannot and we're doing our very best so okay. yeah sometimes i think we just have to extend some grace to ourselves yes and yes, that's what i keep absolutely. on telling myself i'm like have i done my best or mm. did i put in the bare minimum mm. but if i know i've done my best and i have nothing to worry about yeah I, I just can't do it the way i would like to do it and that's fine okay yeah right right so uh as around we I, I think now we've already started the whole motherhood conversation, mm. but we would like to know your journey to yeah. motherhood. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I think I had my son when I just turned 20. No, no, maybe not when I had just done. I had my 26th birthday. Okay. When maybe he was like four months old. Okay. I think, or five. So by 24, you were pregnant and then... No, 25. Okay. 25. Okay. Still, I still gave birth to him when I was 25. Okay. Uh, in, in that nine yeah. months, I was still 25. <laughs> right, right. I was still 25 in that like, nine months window. Yeah. And then shortly after he was born, then I turned 26. So I was pretty, um, a, a little bit um, younger. Yeah, so it was, um, oof, what can I say? It was a lot. But for yeah. me, I've really had like a great support system okay. since I, I was pregnant with my son, okay. since I gave birth to him. I had my mom, I had my siblings. Mm. So in terms of like the, the, the help, okay. I really, really had the help. I never, I was never that person who um, was exhausted because I couldn't sleep at night. Okay. I don't even know how that, how that... I actually don't. <laughs> wow. Because like I used to, um, either it was my mom, most of the times it was me and my mom mm. who would um, watch over my, my, my son at night and mm-hmm. then we keep on changing. And okay. then uh, if I nurse him, then she takes him and sleeps with him or okay. if, you know, so I, I really had enough time to rest. Yeah. I really had a great support system. Was it easy for you to always ask for help? Or they just offered? They just offered. Okay, that, yeah. that's nice. They just offered the help. That's nice. Yeah. So it was, um, I really, d- I think for me, the, the hardest part maybe was the emotional. Okay. But in terms of like physical support okay. and, and the other needs, 
those i'm very grateful that i had that it's just the emotional okay so um, you say emotional is it like a postpartum thing yeah actually even even prenatal i okay I, at some point i had prenatal depression okay. because um, i was going through that alone okay without a partner. yeah <laughs> at the time um we were not uh, yeah things were not they're a bit messy okay at times so i had to go through all of that alone alone yes and so the mental um torment was just too much yeah and up to this very day it's something that i'm really afraid of okay uh, when, I, when i think about um having another child when i think about the future of that yeah i'm just like uh, it freaks so me out a little bit <laughs> because yeah. i think that's the, that's probably like the worst um thing that anyone can ever go through physically yes. you look okay okay but mentally you're so really physically you're okay there were no complications okay. and nothing yeah no complication i really didn't have any complication okay. i had a very smooth pregnancy mm. i think towards the end um maybe when i was from six months onwards okay i had um i had high blood pressure okay an issue of that mm. but it wasn't it wasn't that alarming okay. yeah it wasn't that alarming but i used to have like moments of those mm. and even up to now i still have that oh. again it's not that crazy okay. but sometimes I, i get it as well okay so i think that's the only thing but other than that really sometimes i would even forget that you're pregnant yeah and then i'm going to stand there i'm like oh you're you here are, you're here <laughs> okay <laughs> you're still here yeah, you're still here so like physically oh, really yeah. really i didn't i didn't have i didn't have any morning sickness okay Yeah, I'm I happy have, for you. Yeah, like yay. I really didn't have and then in terms of even um you know some people either gain too much weight or yeah, lose yeah. too much weight. Mm. I didn't have any of that. You I was just, just like I was constant throughout. Mm. Obviously I had a bit of more weight because of the weight of the baby, but yeah, it was yeah. mostly because of the baby. Mm. And then even uh delivery, I had a C-section, but okay. even my healing um it took it took a while, but I guess it was within like the normal recovery, okay. nothing crazy. Um, got you yeah so i'm I'm really grateful about that except for that one that But, i mentioned yeah so mental. did you ever get help yeah. how did you manage that yes so, so i did go for counseling um you I had did to, yeah i did wow. so I tell did, me yeah. did, did you like think about the counseling did you know you were going through it for you to seek help or is something you always intention about because sometimes that's the hardest to yeah, know to that oh yeah to identify yeah so i did i did know that there was something that's not right like because okay. uh, i i had you know like depression is when uh, in, in kenya it's called agahinda gakavije mm. so you actually have agahinda gakavije you, yeah, you it always was sad for always no reason sad for no reason mm. from morning to another morning crying yeah it was just too much and 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 i was like yeah this is not normal mm. so but also i i tend to read quite a bit especially on like mental health mm. and child psychology behavioral science and stuff like ah. that so i could notice like some patterns okay. there so i was like yeah let me let me go and get some help so i started seeing somebody i started mm. talking to them Yeah, and it really uh, here in Rwanda? Me. Yeah, here in okay. Rwanda. Mm. Actually, it's um I think now it's called uh I forget the name. Sana Initiative. Okay, we shall yeah. insert that. Yeah, it's called Sana screen. Initiative. Mm. I'm, I'm sure they still uh, I haven't kept up with their recent um work, but that's okay. the one that I went to at the time. Okay. And yeah, it so was they really like helpful. just it's just mental health generally or maybe they deal with the the health, mental health for mothers is it no it's generally general. so okay. i think um yeah it's generally and i think um, I, i stand corrected mm. but like uh, <laughs> mental health professions eh. i don't think they have to look like at you whether you're expecting or not but okay. i think once they diagnose you with mm. with somebody who is really needing the help then okay. they can be able to give you that medical attention okay yeah. Yeah. wow wow that's nice like mm. i'm really glad you you got the help because yeah. some some of us are, we we don't really even know that we're going mm. through it because i i i think i actually knew that i went through a prenatal depression after i mm. in the pro, like in the midst of it all i did not know the postpartum mm. not really but the prenatal because I'm one it's all new your hormones are changing and all that so i would wamgani kaga hinda kakavish and you're like i should be grateful i'm pregnant i should be grateful i'm like cuz i really wanted this baby so much mm. so i i was like but i didn't know at the time i had mm. i i found out i had that after going through what yes counseling and i had a therapist and recently actually is like wait so that was that <laughs> yeah yeah so it's really hard for for this generation kamjita good you know actually it's easier this generation to know that 
right? Um, I think it's really like a mixture of both. Well, this generation, I think what we have are the resources to okay. identify yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, the acceptance mm. is also another step that everyone is really struggling with as a community. Um, even thinking, oh, by the way, I also had postpartum. Oh. It was very mild though because I has I, I had already um, I had already uh, read up about it mm. and I had already educated myself about it. So that one wasn't really that bad because I knew for most new mothers, especially, it's mm. it's part of the process. It's yes. a phase. Your body's changing. Right, you know, right. You're, mm. Oh God, breastfeeding that nobody. Uh, of all the How was that, that for it, you? I think for me. <laughs> There should be people that tell, especially first-time mothers, mm. they tell them, you no know, it's not going, you're not just going to get the breast out and just give it to the baby and mm. the baby's going to latch on it. And it's, uh, it's, we never know the things, by the way. Yeah, we never. No one talks about nobody, them. Nobody, mm. nobody. And for me, like I said, I had actually, but of all the things that I tried to educate myself on, mm. breastfeeding was not one of them. Was not one of them. Mm. And I really didn't think that, it was going to be anything complex mm. until you start doing it. <laughs> and and like, they're latching and you have all the sore nipples. Yeah, and like, sore nipples. <gasps> yeah, okay. Yeah. For me, I think I, um, because I really, I intentionally wanted breastfeeding. It was like a mission of mine. Mm. So I read about uh, breastfeeding, storage of breast milk, all that, all that stuff. Because I had a really rough pregnancy. So I already thought to myself, man... Because mm. mm. <laughs> I never ate, I never, so I was like, I've always felt like I was not giving him enough and all that. So when I was like, after giving birth, I will breastfeed the hell out of every child. So I did my research and that's why, yeah, it was painful, but I kind of expected it. I kind of, oh, yeah, I kind of, had, yeah, yeah, I had read about it, it and, oh, yo, see, oh, but my, nice. my pumping thingy, I had already bought it months before giving birth, like, I was like, I'm increasing this supply, mm. hey, come on, buy, and buy, I mean, yeah, oh, so, yeah, nice. as much as it was painful, but I, I got easier with, mm. with time, but the, the most important thing is expecting it and knowing that it's going to happen, mm. so you mentally prepare for it, yeah, 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 for me, oh, gosh, I should have mentioned that, uh, but, I guess it's in the first like first two weeks. Yeah. At some point, I had a lot of breast milk. Okay. <laughs> and I need to get rid of some of it. Mm. Like you know, like when it used to be too much, that like yeah. your bust is just yeah. about to explode. Yes, yes, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, so that one was oof. And then sleeping is also uncomfortable. Yeah, you can't. You one, you're pregnant wait. and you can't wait to actually sleep on your on your yeah. belly. But then. Yeah. And then for the people who had C-section, you obviously can't sleep on your belly. How to sleep on yeah. the side and <laughs> until Great. you know, yeah. So you you uh, you mentioned something about like having uh, having to do that all by yourself. Mm. So technically, it's like single parenting yeah. now for you. Yeah. How is that for you? How is what are the challenges you're going through, girl? Like um um again for me, um, I still have the support. Okay. Even if I just all I need to do is just call either my siblings, mm. my cousins, who wants to watch him over the weekend, <laughs> so I can yeah. get a few hours of sleep. So I let's yeah. just give a shout out to to yeah, the support to system. The support system. Hi mom, hi siblings, yeah. hi hi sisters and brothers. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate the help. No good. Yeah, mm. yeah. My mom, my mom. Oh my god, I I don't even know. Mm. Actually, my son likes my mom a lot. They have very they good have a bond. Eh? Yeah, they have a good relationship. They That's have a good. strong bond. So um, on the on the hard part of it, it's um, one you have fewer hands okay. to do the work. Mm. I mean, a household that has um, both partners and parents, I think uh, you can help each other out. Uh, the disciplining, can, the, the yeah, <laughs> the disciplining. Maybe one can be tough, the other one can be the softy. Mm. But here, yeah, good by cop, myself, bad cop, kind yeah, of. Yeah, good <laughs> cop, bad cop. I have to create that balance. I'm yeah. like, am I being too soft? Am I being too tough? Oh. Where, I can like, only at what point do I, mm. you know, and then um, comes the other other responsibilities, like in terms of if you have to provide, mm. um, there are fewer hands. Yeah. So you are the only hands. Yeah. So there's that and uh, thinking about uh, make, making sure that he's comfortable, mm -hmm. he's well provided for, um, um, all the finances, uh, mm. all the meals, a balanced yeah. meal, you know, they're growing. So making sure I know that how hard is, that is. I'm here yeah. with... 
both support i mean we are doing this uh, still you feel it you're like yeah hmm, it's a struggle have to buy that meal okay that formula yeah, yeah. okay well i didn't have to buy the formula mm, but yeah. those who do yeah and it's, quite it's a expensive. lot yeah, yeah. And, and with this economy when they start going to school you're like who is robbing me <laughs> Where is my money at? Yeah. I'm money? doing all this. Yeah. I'm yeah. earning all this money, but where yeah, is it? Where is it going? Like, yeah. who's robbing me? So, um, it's that for me. Um, it's really that uh, knowing that you're on your own. Yeah. You know, having to make all of those uh, hard decisions. Ends meet and all that. Ends yeah. meet. And then, um, obviously, now for me, raising a boy, like, who, what father figure does he, right? does yeah. he look up yeah. at this point in time? Um, again, for me, I'm very lucky that I have my brothers, I have my friends who, mm. if I need them to come and play with him, because I, I'm not a boy, I've never been a boy, so mm. I, you don't know. I really don't know the experience of him, <laughs> yeah. you know, but I can see that energy, I can see him wanting to play ball, mm. wanting to ride his bike, and I'm not matching his energy, so I just call people up, I'm like, please, mm. come handle this, <laughs> I cannot, I yeah. cannot, I cannot uh, match his energy. So um, it's it's really those uh, blanks of spaces okay. that I know that somebody can feel and me trying to counterfeel them, okay. which is um, quite yeah, challenging. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, right. Uh, you know, growing up, we always felt like, uh, of course, we're under the whole single parenting thing. That yeah. means there's no partner. And I suppose you're not married. Yeah. So how did that affect you and also the community around us or what mm. is what can you say about kubjachira and people mm. thinking it's because you're doing a great job as a mom you yeah. some of us we are we went all through that but you're like being a mother doesn't need you to yeah. <laughs> so so that one two things there so there's either my my reaction to how the community or society mm -hmm. reacts to me being a single mom mm. and then there is even me how i react to society thinking yeah. i am a single mom <laughs> yes so on 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 me myself um i don't think there's anything i can change okay and also um i don't think there's any situation that's permanent okay um, at the beginning is when it was a bit rough. Yeah, it was a bit when rough. you found out. Yeah, when I mm. found out and, um, you know, having to um, be that person. Okay. Um, but, you know, there's no... For me, honestly, my thinking, and mm. this is how I'm programmed, mm. there is no permanent situation in life. Things okay. can change. Mm. This could be me today. Mm. Tomorrow, my situation can change. Yes, yes. And this could be... Whoever is thinking, oh my goodness, no, she messed up. That could be mm -hmm. their sister, God mm -hmm. forbid. Mm -hmm. That could be some somebody so close to them. Yeah. So me, my reaction is honestly, I I, I just wake up and try and do my best. Okay. I know I'm doing my best. Okay. Um, I'm thriving every day. Yes. I, I, I really am. <laughs> um, and I try to think good thoughts to invite all of those good mm. things and good opportunities and seek all of those good opportunities. Yeah. And I also don't think. Um, being being a single parent, being a single mother, mm. defines me uh, okay. to my son. Mm. But that's not my entire identity. Yes. You know, my friends know me as somebody different. Mm. Actually, I meet so many people and they're like, "You, you're somebody's mother." I'm like, <laughs> "Should I? What, what shows that you're someone's yes. mother or not?" You know. Actually, one oh. time I remember I took him for vaccination. You know, I'm forgetting small. that I have an audience there, guys. <laughs> Jewe, I'm fascinated with this conversation. Uh, please forgive me, Navi <laughs> Majewe. Let me hope you, we are, you and me are following this conversation. It's yeah. really interesting, and I'm loving it. Yes, thank you. So mm. I was about to say, um, one time I took my son to the hospital. Mm. He was um, we had gone for his uh, vaccination mm -hmm. when he was still a baby. Yeah, and then when the nurse was like. Mama, we <laughs> And I stood down. Nwanje, right here. I'm like, right here. Like, mm -mm, mama, we need to saka. Mama, we like tell the mom to do <laughs> want to come. And I was like, I'm the, I'm the mother. Mm. And she looked at me. Wow, we. Oh, so and, what's that? I don't, I don't appreciate and that. And I looked also. at the woman. And I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I just said, yeah, good, yeah, because yeah. But there was a long queue. Mm. People used to come to, but there was a long queue, so yeah. there was no time to be mad by anyone. Yeah. So I entered, I did what I had to do, and then I left. But mm. that was just like, just, just like a small thing that shows you, like, this is not your entire identity. Yes, yes it's a big part of your identity, yes. but it's not your entire identity. Right, right. You're, you're who you are. Like I said, I'm an artist. Yeah. You know, I'm... Hey, she really sick of us today. Ah, Momo. <laughs> are you guys going to pay mobile money? 
umva ndashira kanemero hasi and then we we have to pay for this okay? <laughs> but we can even yeah. put the link to my to my uh, platform yes, so they can go absolutely. and listen to yes yeah? Yeah. yeah so they can go and do that and then when they want to listen to me live mm-hmm. we'll arrange for an event you pay that mobile money yeah so i get my money yay <laughs> we can't wait nje <laughs> yeah. yanje just give me the date and it's mm. already saved yeah yeah uh-huh. so so they, there's really more to 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 sub, to somebody there's mm. more to a woman than being a, yeah, a mother or absolutely. being um whatever you're defined by mm. so that's my response to society that is i have more to offer than just yeah, uh, yeah. pinning me as this person yeah and then um, um secondly is to those that look at me and feel like um this is the only way we are defining you mm. is i cannot That's really on them really yeah, much. yeah yeah and i cannot i cannot really control, control that, yes. what people think or mm. how they you know they perceiving they're you they are perceiving me mm. their world view of things they have their they're really you know influenced by many things how True. they grew up mm. religion True. Uh, status or who they hang out with or mm-hmm. what they want people to that. think of them mm. so i cannot really like um i cannot really hold them Yeah, yeah responsible for that obviously i do to some extent but it, it's not something that i'll think about a lot mm. you know it's not something that i girl you have a lot yeah. going on for you you have yeah. no time to be thinking about all that yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's 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 a good mindset by the yeah. way we all need that we mm. all need that because sometimes we box ourselves in this like what ambona gute changa se ana necheza hichi but as long as you we still want you when you're like hey as you've said i'm a mom but i, I have a lot of things to offer mm. i am more than just a mother mm. it's 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 mature yeah it's really mature yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now can we just go to the fun part like mm. Mm? <laughs> so walk, walk us through your day like what's your routine like um, um all right so like i said on a typical busy weekday yes <laughs> A day for us begins with uh, taking Zayl to school. Yeah. He has to go to school. Then after dropping him from school, I work from home mm. for the most part. Ninety percent of the time, I work mm. from home. I go to the office at least once or twice a week. Okay. Uh, at most twice a week. Mm. So in between my days, I'm obviously uh, working and have so many lots and lots of meetings yes. trying to get things done, and also trying to stay relevant at work. <laughs> <laughs> true. You true. Know? Mm. Um, I really think if you if you're fortunate enough to have a job you should make your 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 presence count. Yeah. So anyway, so there's that part of trying to earn a living and um going on with my tasks mm. and for the day at work and then after that my day normally ends around um 6 6 or 6:30 okay. mm. but in between I have to go pick Zale mm. but I live very close by his school it's literally okay. like a five minutes drive. Okay. okay. So just go pick him, bring him home. Um, then wrap up work and then mm. um, I normally don't try to have any social meetups in the okay. course of the week mm. I, I don't unless I really really have to mm. like there's somebody that I have to meet and that's the only time I can meet them mm. um, that's like the last time you gave me time thank you girl right <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yes. when I had to do coffee yeah. there so I try not to um, over commit yeah. for my weekdays okay. so I can make time as well for Zale so mm. in the evenings I normally make time for him we mm. hang out um uh, talk about How old is Zale? He's 4. 4. Yeah, okay. he's 4. Mm. So we hang out uh just make sure that we are spending time together even if it's just there watching his cartoons. Mm. And then yeah, then we call it a day and that's a repeat over the weekends though. Um we have uh mom Sundays. So I try to for us to spend time intentionally. Mm. We have mom Sundays. Okay. So we go on a date me and him. Wow, mom Sunday. Yeah, mm. we go somewhere whether he's going to play or or just so is something that you're intentional about? Yes, okay. I'm intentional about, but it's it's about him more than it's me. Okay. Because obviously I can't take him to um I don't know, a brunch. <laughs> a brunch with him. <laughs> right, <laughs> he wants yeah. to play, he yeah. wants to go to a trampoline yeah. and jump. So I make it more about him mm. and 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 obviously very less of me. Mm. And I do that because I honestly feel like even with kids we cannot just um assume that we have their trust yes. you know in this mm. world that we're living in so i try to earn his trust and just spend time with him and uh, ask him so how how was your day yeah. how's your week been yes. and uh, the other day i was telling you he just tells me about spider man <laughs> like oh my spider so man he so, did this yeah, boom so and, loud, and yeah. i'm like it's fine i'll hey. just painfully sit a here thousand listen. times the same yeah. story over and over again over but and you over listen again. yeah listen <laughs> to that listen to 
all these other i don't know he wants to attract her or whatever yeah. you know like he's four so he yeah. tells me what he you know what's in his mind and all mm. of that but for me that's fine with me because as we progress i hope that he can tell me what's on his mind yeah and i don't want to introduce this when he's like 13 and mm. it's weird yeah, like, yeah mom why do you want to talk to me yeah <laughs> you know, so i wanted it to be like something that we can we can um develop over the years okay. and then we can grow together in that sense and mm. still keep that um relationship so so yeah so we do that um sometimes obviously we don't do it every week okay because i might have different things you know you know kigali yes, sometimes yes. you have uh meet up with friends sometimes yeah. you have weddings sometimes yes. you have all of these um other social responsibilities yes. that you have to do but at least i have to have it at least twice a month all right that's great yeah. so is this something you you pre-thought and like hey i need to do this or is this something you grew up grew up uh experiencing or is something like hey my parenting skill or i need to introduce this to my son's life is this something you grew up doing or no it's definitely not something i grew up doing i don't even think i've seen it anywhere it is okay. something i thought about because i really want to create a relationship where zail can be open to come to me okay. about anything and mm. feel like yeah, I'm, I'm i'm a good person to talk to okay. um, and I, i don't want to ever think he will magically hey. <laughs> think about it you know i don't i i, I don't believe in that mm. I, i think we should put in the effort in okay. every relationship that we want to flourish mm. and that includes the relationships even with our children. children yes at least for me so um <clears throat> that's why i introduced it mm. um obviously i know when he's older there are some things uh, he won't be telling me and that's fine yeah I mean, tmi you can only t- <laughs> we don't want any tmi but yeah. i also um i would really appreciate him to 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 think of me as somebody that he can he approach. can go to yes yeah. that, yeah, that's, can go that's to. nice yeah. i think it's something we can all learn from that uh, mm. i like i like the people like any relationship you want to flourish like you have to put in the work yeah even with the children i yeah. like that i okay. like that yes yeah. so what are your fears as a mother as a mother like raising a, a boy or a child generally yeah. children like we all have yeah. our fears like am i doing something right any decision that we make as parents or nganje personally i'm always like okay how is it going to turn out like even the way my nanny like carries herself i'm like eh Asians are bimbabu ari kubivuga cyangwa se like any small small actions that we take as parents we mm. always have that fear of how our kids are going to turn out yeah so yeah what are your fears as a mother for me honestly i i would like him obviously to turn out okay but okay. that's not a fear for me mm. because i will i know he will turn out his own person yes but my greatest fear is for him not to be healthy especially okay. mentally okay you know to feel like he cannot express himself to okay. you know to succumb to the whole thing of society or mm. a man should not express his emotions yes. a, man, a man should be this a man should be that na mugaburira na mugabo ukora ibingi bi umugabo nukora ibi i i really for me the fear for me would him um trying to be somebody who he's not okay. because of what society wants him to be Right, and right. So and 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 for me uh, that's why mental um wellness is is big for me. Mm. And for me that includes even things something as easy as when he's on holiday, okay. I just make sure that I find him something productive to do with his time. Okay. As simple as um like uh, he's he's about to start some skating classes. Oh. So um, nice. yeah, so he doesn't just sit on the screen mm. and just be passively there without putting his mind Okay. I mean you can watch and yeah so yeah, things yeah. can but at four he's just watching cars really mm. there's not too much that he watches and superheroes and all of that mm. but uh, on the reality on the ground for him to get some skills you mm-hmm. know um do some things for himself so even when he's at an age where he's he's uh, old enough to make the choices for himself mm. he can start putting his mind to work practically for things that are going to be beneficial for him right you know mm. and 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 so for me my my greatest fear is for him to really get to a point where he feels like ah my mom provides for me for everything everything for me. So yeah. i can just sit and be like this oh, uh, no. my mom will do this no for boy. me my, my, <laughs> my family will Yay. do this for me my relatives will do this for me so my greatest fear is for him just to know uh, my greatest fear is that he um doesn't become that person who depends 
on society either mm. what they feed him or mm. even him what he's feeding them. yes yeah. yes so he can be able to sustain somebody who is able to sustain himself in 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 any way be independent from a really yeah. young age as well mm. and know how to build his life know how to just supply his mind with the right things and 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 also know how to steam off in case he's um, going through something and in the right way okay yeah Wow, that's nice. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. I'm yeah. learning a lot from this conversation. And yeah. yeah, so how is how is how is how is your dating life? Like uh-huh. being a single mother, yeah. dating like dating what uh, being on the streets is kind of <laughs> not easy from yeah. the conversations I've had with uh, with other moms who Yeah, so how yeah. is yours? How is yours, if you mind sharing? I actually do not know. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I actually wish I had an answer for you, but I don't. I actually do not know. Um, I think, have I, have I tried to get involved? Yes, I have. Mm. But for me, again, it's about, um, I wouldn't want to say I haven't met anybody. or mm. No, I have met, I have met yes. some men. I have met some, some good men. Mm. But again, um, just like any other person, I wouldn't want to settle or be with anybody or even um, get in a relationship with anyone mm. just because I feel like it's convenient. Yes. You know, you're, yeah. you're convenient in the sense that um, you, uh, you, you, you check all the boxes of, of, mm. of being a man or being the ideal okay. <laughs> man mm. or the things that I look for in a partner. But even going the extra mile and looking like uh, futuristic and mm. looking at the other things that I, for me, Zail is a very big part of my yes, life. So yes. it's a, it's a no, it's a no brainer. Um, so there has been people, but I just, I don't do, you, do you feel like you being a, a single parent has affected that as well? Absolutely. Or is the decision you made you like, nope. No, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Even the people that I meet, I mm. told you, like uh, when I when I when I interact with people first, I they they wouldn't. I don't know why it comes off as a shock to people. Oh, you're a mother. I'm like, but mm. anyway, yeah. So <laughs> so when that aspect comes in, I can sense a yeah. bit of that, and I yeah. like that because I need to know yeah, that that, is that, the, that I'm ex for me, so I can I can mm. I, I can move on already. So it's uh, I, I can see it uh, it happens a lot obviously and you can't really blame these people because mm. people when wherever they come from especially when it involves families there's mm. a lot of um, things involved there somebody um, family getting involved and mm. uh, they obviously don't want their precious son to mm. end up with somebody who already has a child mm. and we try to respect their views and and, and principles on that as well but. Um, for me, at the same time, I'm really not in a rush. Mm. I am really not in a rush because I'd rather be with a with a right person than be with a wrong person for the right reasons. Yes, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm just taking my time, and again, I, I'm building my life. I'm really, really, v- very intentional yes. about growth and not just building um, a kingdom. Any queen. Yeah, <laughs> building my kingdom. <queendom>. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and and um, you know, and that includes a lot of like uh, economic and financial yes. growth. Yes. Mm. And so it's okay. Whoever comes, they'll find me on the way, and if they do not, I am still going. She's in the move, people. She's yeah. in the move. <laughs> <laughs> but am I open to dating? Yes, I am. But yeah. it, it, it also, it's, there's lots of variables for me as well. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I yeah. hear you. Okay, so uh, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. So yeah, this has been quite interesting, but I have soaked in all the information, <laughs> all the, the conversation has been so interesting. I've learned a lot from you and I'm really, really happy that you're here. Uh, so before we end up the video, do you have anything to talk about? Like maybe your music, once you could do her, you yeah. can so what, <laughs> we, just, just uh, one second, because one second, <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather actually I tell them where to find the good stuff. Okay. And then but you are the good my, stuff. I hope this is not my last time coming here. So no. next time I come here. Or next time we meet on She's any other coming. platform. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so um, uh, on all of my platforms, my name is Sherry Uwase. Um, all of the digital streaming uh, platforms, that's for music, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, uh, Deezer. Guys, Google I'm with Play. a big girl. I'm with a big girl today. <laughs> yeah, so yes. any platform, even YouTube. Um, I have a couple of videos on my YouTube channel, Sherry Wase. We'll leave links in the description box. Please yeah. check them out. 
Remember to always check the description box. The good stuff are in there. People right. rarely check, check, by the way. Right, yeah. Mm. Should, I, I hope today that you can be able to check yes. them out. And um, my socials as well, my social media platforms, it's Sherry Uwase across all of them. Mm. And um, you can keep up with me and my music and my content creation as well. Yes. And um, I hope that uh, you can join the Mutima family. I call my, 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 my community, <laughs> especially on Instagram, mm. Mutims. Yes. Uh, from Mutima. <laughs> yes. So and I'm Mutims, the Mutims, by the way. She's a Mutims. Chane. She's a Mutims. Chane. <laughs> can I have a badge? Can I have like... <laughs> We should have, we should print stuff, <laughs> t-shirts. No, Kuni. <laughs> Tapes. Um, yeah. March, please, March. We make money out of that. Go to the bench. Yeah. And we went, we want them. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for uh, making the time to be here. I enjoyed this conversation, and I hope to have you on again for you know other things. You know, play some games, eat some food. Because I love all that stuff, and I yeah. hope you do too. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor. Uh, for making the time for your beautiful home. She has such a beautiful home. Thank you. You only see this side of the, of the camera, <laughs> but all around, it's, it's really thank you. Thing. So thank, thank you, you so much. much. Mm. And thank you for creating this platform for mothers to, and, and women yes. to really share their lives. Thank you so much. You. And please, Mom Gidide, to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> please, please do subscribe yes. to this channel. Yes. Because I'm sure there's a lot more coming. Yes, yeah. there is, guys. Great stuff, great stuff. So subscribe as we sign out. Yes. So uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have made it this far, you are my favorite person. And don't forget to like, to share this video. And as she said, subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. It's just one second. That red button, boom, click on it. And you already joined the family. And I'll see you next week. Bye.